Now, a group of queer activists illegally occupying a mansion in Camps Bay in Cape Town for over a week have been ordered to leave by the 8th of October. They say they're occupying the mansion to bring attention to land and housing issues faced by the LGBTIQ plus community and the homeless. Nobisi Tuhejana is following the story for us. She joins us now live. So let's start with the context, Nobisi of why these activists have occupied this mansion. So, Shahan, according to the property management company, they're saying that this group had uh, first booked uh, on the 18th of September and it was under the pretense that they were a family of five who wanted to rent uh, a house in Camps Bay uh, for, uh, for relaxation or for leisure. But they were expected to check out on the 21st of September and when on the day that they were supposed to check out, they then sent an email to the property management company informing them that they will not be leaving the house and uh, when the, the, the lawyer uh, representing the company he did say that in the email the group actually thanked um, the property management company about the nice house and how they enjoyed their time but when we went to them on the 23rd of September trying to understand why is it that they chose that specific house or was it there a reason why they chose that specific house uh, they told us that they wanted to highlight the issue of land and the fact that uh, the houses in Camps Bay, according to them, are owned by people who don't necessarily reside in the country and that when a person from Cape Town is looking for land to build, they are told that the land uh, belongs to the city or it's a private land. And amongst other the issues that they wanted to highlight was the fact that, according to them, that the queer community is not safe. And uh, if you look at the services provided in areas like Kailicha, uh, when you want or are calling for a uh, a police van, you are told that the station does not have enough, but in Kent's Bay, you simply press one panic button and the car or securities will come your way. Yeah, so take us through the property owner's argument and what they're saying about lost revenue. So the property company, uh, company management did say that when the group uh, booked for uh, with the Airbnb, they told them that they were a family of five and that they wanted to spend a weekend into that property. But uh, when they were expected to check out, it appeared that there were more than five people in that property. And they also argued that because of the illegal occupation, uh, they've lost revenues up to 50,000 rands and they had to cancel other people who had already booked. And uh, this meant that uh, the people who had booked, they had to accommodate them to other places around Kems Bay. And the group of activists opted to represent themselves. They're now calling for postponement. Why is that? So initially when we were called inside court, uh, the judge did ask them that if they were ready to uh, go on or represent themselves and one of the representative or one of their, uh, the group members, he, she did mention that they were ready to talk and they will be representing themselves. But uh, when the, the court started or the arguments from um, the representative from the property company management, uh, then the group said when it was their time to actually talk they mentioned that to the judge that they were not understanding some of the legal terms and that they would like a postponement because they are they want legal representation so they wanted the, the court to grant them a three weeks uh, postponement so that they can look for a legal uh, representative but then the judge also asked them that initially I had said that are you guys understanding the law? And they said they will be representing themselves, but when they were, they could not answer some of the questions, they then told the court that they would like to seek uh, legal advice. And the judge also did say that he understands their cause or their concerns, but this was not the way to actually go about it, to illegally occupy a private property. There are different ways to um, to show or to protest when people want their cause to be highlighted. But yeah. the group did say that uh, the judgment was fair and uh, that they, re they respect the judgment. All right, thanks for the update. Appreciate it. Novosutu Hejana is in Cape Town.